Hello everyone, Jake Becker, Pioneer Field Agronomist for the Northern Texas Panhandle. Check out this short video on Granular Insights. So we've already downloaded the Granular Insights app at the bottom here. We're going to click on it. First thing that's going to pop up is a map. So if we had, whatever, 16 circles mapped here, you would see all 16 circles. We can go over to our list on the bottom. Once again, if we had a bunch of circles on here, they would all be listed, separated by crop type. You can filter by farm name, uh, field name, whatever you'd like to do. One of the important things with granular insights is this data is yours, right? Granular is very good about data privacy, customer privacy. Your Pioneer sales reps get you set up with granular insights. It is your data. Nobody else can see it but you. If you want to share that data, there's a gear icon up at the upper right hand corner. You can hit that, hit members, and invite whoever you would like. Um, say your crop consultant uh, to see some of this data. Say your pioneer sales rep, your pioneer field agronomist. Uh, whoever else you would like to see this data, you have to add them into your operation. So the biggest thing with granular insights is going to be satellite imagery. So if you were familiar with Encirca Pro from uh, previous years, uh, the same type of thing here. We've got a great new format um, and we're doing a little different things here and there. So if I just click on this demo circle, uh, satellite imagery isn't on for 2020 yet, but we'll look at some of that data. What I've got pulled up here is the soil map. Um, and obviously this circle doesn't have a lot of variability, but if I just click where it says soil, you can see some of the other things we can upload to Granular Insights. Uh, things like the vegetative index, that's going to be that satellite imagery that you're going to want to look at. But if we wanted to upload yield data or planting data, hybrid data, we could do that with this software. If we go back, we're just going to look at some of the four instances that we've had. This is from last year. Obviously, this is a soil map, much more variability than the previous circle. We look at this next circle. So this is the image that the satellite took. So little bitty satellites flying up in the sky, they go over, they take pictures every day. That's one of the great things about our satellite service is the frequency of the pictures. Um, you may not see a picture every day. It won't get uploaded into the app every day, but... Uh, every two, three, or four days, you should definitely get a picture of your crop growing. So you can see, obviously, in the center of that circle, there's something going on, right? You've got some brown spots in there. So we take this circle, uh, we take this satellite image, put it through a computer, put it through a server. Algorithms detect the high health areas, the low health areas. We end up with a picture like this. So that was the exact same picture put through the filters. Uh, dark blue means high health, yellow means low health. So you can see the acreage percent or the percent different. It says we have 8% that's high health, 14% that's low health. Obviously in the middle of this circle here we are uh, had some clogged nozzles, didn't have pressure on the system, something was going on. We look at a different circle here from last year. Uh, you can see up in the northwestern part there's something going on, right? Uh, and actually what it was, we were pretty wet early on, uh, especially in the eastern panhandle, uh, early on in the growing season. And this was actually a drowned out spot up there, a uh, spot that we didn't replant. So obviously we had quite a bit of stand reduction through there, and you can see the low plant health on the northwest side of that circle. A little plug, uh, you see something on your satellite imagery, you're not quite sure what's going on, you want a different set of eyes on it. We have drones, so field agronomists have drones. Some pioneer sales reps are getting drones for 2020. Uh, these are super high resolution pictures. Um, early on, we can actually do stand counts with them. But you can see here, obviously, that we had quite a few clogged nozzles on this circle, but the resolution on some of this stuff is really, really good. You can see water lines. Uh, see really neat things going on in that circle. So if you see something on your satellite imagery and you're like, huh, what is that? Or maybe it shows up one day, then fades, then comes back. Uh, talk to your Pioneer sales rep and be more than happy to get a drone out there and fly it. 
But the big thing here uh, is granular insights in the satellite imagery. So we have apps for iPhone, we have apps for Android, we also have a web-based version. So you can navigate to granular.ag and log in at the upper right-hand corner. So you get here and, and this is the place where you're going to edit those fields, make them look how you want them to look, uh, assign different farm names. But you can also make uh, data connections. You can upload those shape files if you would like uh, in the data tab, or you can make a connection to the JD Op Center to get seeding rate data and yield data to flow back and forth. So pretty powerful tool with Granular Insights. So if you're a Pioneer Platinum customer, Granular Insights is yours. Uh, you can have access to it, talk to your Pioneer sales rep. If you're not a Pioneer Platinum customer, some of this interests you, talk to your Pioneer sales rep and uh, he'd be more than happy to give you more information about this program. You can access Granular Insights from any Apple device, Android device, or use it from your computer. Just make sure to use the Chrome browser if you're using your computer. So if you're a Pioneer, Pioneer Platinum customer, Granular Insights is yours. Talk with your Pioneer sales rep on how, how to get set up. And if you're not a Pioneer Platinum customer, talk to your local Pioneer sales rep on how you can get this for your operation. We thank you for being a Pioneer customer and look forward to a great 2020 season. Thanks. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.